Also on a side note, this video is inspired by James A. Williams' My History of Thomas the Tank Engine video. Happy 10th anniversary to him, by the way. Wait, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. To help you guys understand my history of migration, we must go back to the year 2014. I was four years old at the time, living in one of my grandmother's house. I was upstairs when I saw this TV playing this one movie. It was recently released on Blu-ray, and it was called Rio 2. Little did my young mind know that after witnessing it, I would love it to death. I mean literally. I love this film to death, and it's one of my favorite films of all time. I mean seriously, you can agree with me if you love that movie as well. I mean the atmosphere, the songs, and of course the characters. Especially Tiago, who is basically just me. He's just silly, brave, and is known for making mistakes. Of course. By the way, this movie is 10 years old now. Yes, that old. I'm serious. But anyways, to put it simply, I love this film to death. And yes, I've heard about the tragic news of Blue Sky's closure in 2021 due to COVID! I wasn't sad about this tragic news, but I knew we lost a legend, and I haven't heard about Rio 2 for two years, until April 5th, 2023. As it came from the heavens above, I saw this. When I first watched the announcement trailer, I felt like the Illumination Gods had gave me this movie, which is similar to Rio 2 in many ways, as a gift for the Rio fans. I was instantly blown away by it. In fact, John Powell, who did the score for the two Rio movies, actually returned to do the score for Migration. How crazy is that? But anyways, I did see the other trailers that came afterwards as well as some clips and some animations online, including a certain one with Stuart, I hate you. I did this all the way until I finally saw the duck soar at the Paragon Casino Resort in Marksville, Louisiana on Christmas Day 2023. And let me tell you, it was great! I mean literally! Some of the things from Rio 2, like the atmosphere and the characters, are in this film. Like Dex, for example. He's basically the same as Thiago. He's brave and a little silly, but he's more of the Squidward type of things, as shown here. Can you let go now? You feel better? No. Then it hasn't kicked in yet. And considering the fact that I also loved Baby Ostrich, who was a character from Jungle Beat the Movie that released three years prior in 2020, and the fact that she is also brave? Make them a trio and BOOM! You got a great trio that will last for generations. Oh, here's a fun fact. Did you know that I got involved with the movie's marketing? Somewhat? So on August 16th, 2023, I replied to a Twitter post on Illumination's X account, or Twitter, whatever you call it, about five companies that they should partner up with to promote the movie. Chris Millenia actually saw this, and the only one he chose was Dawn. And I didn't notice this until November, when I saw the Dawn Dish Soap commercial. Which, speaking of that, Gwen Mallard here, in this commercial, is not voiced by Tressie Ganzel, but rather an unknown voice actress. Don't believe me? Here's a comparison. I wanna go to Jamaica and do what they make jam. Is they gonna die? Dad, can you tell us a story? Maybe the one with the duckling who got lost in the storm and got caught in that terrible oil spill. See the difference? I mean, it's not that simple, people. Okay, but anyways, do you guys remember when I said that I finally watched Migration at the Paragon Casino Resort in Marksville, Louisiana? Well, about that. I watched a bootleg recording of Migration before I did that experience. 
but it was only half of it. So I knew every single line, and I just talked it out like it was MST3K for some reason. Like, I could tell you, I could go to a screening of the movie, and I could just say the entire scene with Gwen just trying not to poop in the sky, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what about the villain, you may ask? Well, I agree with people who are saying this villain is lame. But I know what you're thinking. What would migration be without a villain? A good movie. Now, I'm not necessarily saying he's bad. He's just one of those types of villains that you see in every single animated film. I mean, he just grunts, does not speak, and he just wants to kill a protagonist. It's that simple, people. Oh, what about Urn, you may ask? Well, I agree with people also about how she should have been the villain, but she's just that type of character that really needs to go to therapy or rehab. Trust me, I could tell that she wants to eat the ducks, but she's trying not to, like she has some sort of physical condition. And yes, I also liked the short Moon, which played before Migration, which was set after the first Despicable Me, and yes, of course, it featured VICTOR! Oh yeah! In it, trying to get back to the Earth. Okay, we're getting off topic here. Let's get to the point. Migration is one of the best finales to 2023 I have ever experienced, and is a rare love letter to Rio 2. Thank God to Chris Melandria for bringing this movie to life. No, Gwen, it's not the end. We are now going to show a comparison between both Rio 2 and Migration. Enjoy. Dax talked to a girl. A girl? He wants to marry her. What? I didn't say that. You said it with your eyes. What? Is he me? I get the big one. No, I'm the oldest. Only by 3 minutes, 2.5 seconds. This isn't about migration. It's about uh, adventure. Seeing what else life has to offer. Is that a little scary? Sure. But isn't it worth it? Let the kids connect to their roots. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, you're right. I guess that is the only word that describes who I am. Did you hear that? He called me brave. Lead the way, Blue. Ha, that's my name. Yes, you call me Blue. Yes, I am Blue. No way! A bird bath! Yeah, no, here's that. Jacuzzi. <laughs> The brilliant picture and sap. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> sorry, sir. I mean, ma'am. <laughs> Love the stash. Just stick close to me, and everything will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, to put it simply, Migration is just a loving tribute to Rio 2. And that's all the similarities that I could find. I know I missed two, but that's all. Anyways, I would rate Migration 10 out of 10 for being an amazing tribute to Rio 2. Without Illumination, my children wouldn't have never grown up with a movie similar to Rio 2. Anyways, thanks for watching, and may your 2024 be as good as last year.